Alrighty folks, we're back with our drivetrain and a uh, pretty major accomplishment today. Um, I think less than about a week ago I posted a video just detailing some of the issues that I had had around getting the idle function uh, to work for our, uh, for our uh, 5HP24 automatic uh, gearbox system for the um, 8 series project and literally just this morning I woke up to, to a message from Johannes to uh, say that he had some code uh, that might work uh, but he was away from his lab and basically couldn't uh, try it so um, I just literally flashed the um, the inverter, uh, set a um, set a idle speed value for around 500 revs, uh, hit the button, and straight up. So, just going to give you guys a demo. We've got the computer logging RPM. We can do a zoom on that. So, basically, key on and hit our start button. Uh, the box is in neutral at the minute. Right now, according to our data, we're at about 480 revs a minute. Um, like I say, we're in neutral. Um, oil temp is about 15 degrees at the minute. It's been uh, running, or sorry, I should say, I've just been running it for a few minutes uh, prior to turning on the camera. Um, so what I want to do is just want to run the box, um, just going to tap it into reverse there. Our prop shaft flange is spinning away, We've got a little dip in the RPMs, we're probably down to around I would say you know, maybe about 470 revs there at that. Uh, let's go back to neutral. Actually, I should be showing you guys the computer while I mess about with the uh, while I mess about with the um, selector. I suppose this is where my top spec camera work tends to let me down. I suppose. Let's turn the computer around a bit. See if that's making any kind of sense there. So there's the little dip you can see just on the right of the graph where I popped into reverse. Let's do that again. You can hear the box loading up. Now it's it's purely a proportional control uh, in software at the minute, back to neutral. So this is an amazing uh, inverter platform. Um, I built this in about a week of, of evenings and uh, that thing just works. But let's pop it into drive, we'll be in the first gear. We're in drive. There goes first. In fact, why not run her through the gears while we're here? Here comes second. Second gear. You can see the little uh, dip in the RPMs again. Let's go for third. Our third engaged. Very interesting to see how that RPM graph varies depending on which gear. Now, my code for fourth gear I think leaves a lot to be desired, so here we go. Yeah, there's a bit of a dip in the revs there. I'm probably just not exactly getting the the pre-fill on the fourth gear clutch pack right. Bit of work on that, and let's throw her into fifth. Bit of a dip going into fifth there as well, but we're running in fifth gear now. Now we can set that idle speed to uh, 
any kind of a figure that we like. It's got set to 500 RPMs at the minute. It seems to be more than enough to keep the uh, keep the pressure up in the box. So let's uh, back to neutral. Will then automatically bring us back to force gear when we. There's, a new, there's neutral. Oil temp is now about 18 degrees. I know this is a bit like watching paint dry, but there you go. Alright, sorry about that folks, just had a visitor there. Um, so yeah, we were basically, I think I was explaining that it's purely proportional control uh, with our, with our, our idle speed. And uh, it's working very well indeed. Um, so I'll just do another, just... Uh, start up so as I said I rigged up a couple of buttons here to make it a little bit easier so let's do on and hit our hit 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 our start and uh, we're in neutral oil temps up to about 21 degrees just been sh shut down there for a while now revs are at around about yeah about 480, maybe 475, something like that, and uh, F max is set to 50 hertz, so we can, if we hit the throttle, we only really go up to about 1500. Yeah, 1500. Back down to idle. Just blipping the throttle there. That's really fantastic. Um, I was absolutely delighted with that. And uh, we go into drive, into force. Just a bit of load on things first. Hit the throttle. And back to idle. Just curious to see the power consumption actually. Just if we're in neutral there, you see if I've got my chance in here handy. Let me see here. And we're lamps. Lamps DC. Zero. Okay, I'm running about 6.7, 6.8 amps there. Let's call it 7 amps just for simplicity. Uh, let's see if I measure my bus voltage here. Voltage is 155 volts. So you can do the maths on that. Let's go there. That's it. We have idle function, folks. Um, thanks very much to Johannes for uh, such a quick response um, on that request. As I say, it was barely a week ago that I. Uh, that I actually posted the video and actually um, let him know about that, so that's uh, that's fanta fantastic. Um, so we can now go ahead and do some more testing, do some more experiments uh, around with our system, but it's really something uh, just to be able to put my hand on the motor chassis here and there's, there's just, basically wouldn't know it's on and it's just, it's just, uh, Lighting away, ha completely happy there. Uh, so yeah, that's a real result versus where I was a couple of weeks ago with all kinds of coupler issues and stuff like that. So, okay, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be uh, back soon with some more videos, with some more drivetrain stuff and uh, a lot more to do, a lot more work around the brake hydraulics and brake boosters and power steering and inverter and all. So we got a lot of stuff to do so stay with us and uh, thanks for all.